Good afternoon, everybody. This is the Uneducated Economist. Lumber prices. They are continuing to drop. The lumber futures have come down into the 800, 900 per thousand mark, which is significantly lower than the 1750 that they had topped out at or the 1500 that the May contract closed. But 800 per thousand, 900 per thousand, this is still very incredibly expensive lumber. But that lower lumber prices are starting to show themselves up in the retail side of things. It is still going to be a long ways off before we see anything that is like significant or anything that you can write home about. But it's starting to show up. And today I seen the retail price of two by four eight standard and better lumber come down. And it came down fairly significantly. We um we got our new uh, unit ordered coming in and the price has gone from thirteen oh nine per piece down to just over eight dollars. Holy moly guys. Like a five dollar drop to studs. Now again it is just one unit and who knows what the prices are gonna do next week but as far as I can tell a lot of the two by four and two by six is starting to have some pretty significant price drops to it and if it lasts for any kind of length of time then you're going to start seeing it show up in the retail end again this is really going to depend on how much retail business is going to turn over from all the expensive lumber that is already sitting in the in the pipeline all the yards out there are sitting on expensive lumber it doesn't matter what the price of the lumber is selling for as far as the vendors go or what they have it listed for. If you have a yard that is full of expensive lumber, it's going to be very difficult to move that or to try and sell it for a cheaper price and to continue to be able to profit. So it's gonna come into a very tricky situation if this continues. It's going to make it easier for builders and sales and everybody else out there because everything you bid is going to be bid on the higher prices as lower prices come in. So already like, you know, the price on the way up, it was very difficult. A lot of people were failing. They would bid the project, go to do the project and the price of the material had gone up so much that they lost all the profit and ended up costing them to do the job. Now it's going to work on the opposite end. They're going to bid the project out. By the time they buy the materials, they're going to be a lot less than what they had thought they were going to be, and they're going to make a lot more money on it. And now this is going to work in a pretty decent way if there is enough turnover. That's the most important part, is that a lot of people are just going to assume, because the prices are going down, that everybody out there is going to have all this cheap lumber again. It's not the way it's going to work. It's going to stay up there for a while and people are going, I know, I can already see it, that people are going to talk about the greedy lumber yards. The greedy lumber yards keeping the prices elevated so they can make all that extra money off of it. It doesn't work that way, guys. Anybody who thinks that is incorrect. That would take a coordinated effort amongst all the lumber yards working simultaneously together to price out lumber and keep it elevated. I tell you what, I would be the one rogue lumber yard that would sell it just a little bit cheaper than everybody else. Because that's what they would all do. They would all sell it just slightly cheaper than everybody else until it gets to the point that they are no longer profitable. Lumber, believe it or not, is not a very profitable item to sell. It's very low margin. It's hard to move around. Everybody is constantly trying to get the best price on it. That's not where the money is made. I mean, believe it or not, guys, that's not really where the money is made. It's made in all the other stuff that goes to put lumber together. All the other items. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. Lumber yards make money off of selling lumber or else they wouldn't do it. But it's not the big ticket item. It's the, it's the bottom line number. It's the biggest part of the bill. But really, the profit is not made in the lumber. I mean, it, it some, but not 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 where you really want to make it. It's all in everything else that goes to put the house together. So anybody who's who thinks that lumber yards are being greedy is incorrect. 
that you can't you can't be a greedy lumberyard. It doesn't work that way unless you happen to be isolated, like away from anybody else. Like you're so far away from the other lumber yards that you would have to travel and that travel expense, you can now add on to your lumber prices. Because whatever whatever you sell your lumber for, they would have to make that up in fuel charges or whatever it is to take the discount by going to another yard. That's the only way that a lumber yard could gouge a customer if they were to. But if you have other lumber yards around, that's that's competition and everybody's out there buying from wholesalers and everybody else. So if you can get a better price on it and sell it just a few pennies cheaper than the guys down the road, then guess what? You're going to sell more than the other guys. So there's no way that there's going to be like greed or manipulation as far as keeping the prices elevated as the future prices are dropping. It just doesn't work like that. It's a matter of turning over the old inventory, bringing in the new inventory so that you can sell it for a better price. Believe me, lumber yards would much rather see prices of lumber being much cheaper than they are right now. Because if they sold more of them, they would sell more nails, screws, glue, and everything else. High lumber prices are not helping lumber yards at all. It's not doing them any favors. So when these prices come down and the people start firing up their projects again and start buying more stuff, that's gonna be exciting. So right now we're just starting to see the churn and you know we give it a few months here and if this trend continues, then you're gonna start seeing price relief across most of the items out there. Like I said, I see it in one item so far. Just one thing that has come into the yard. Plywood is expensive, all the two by you know, wider boards like the two by 12, all the beams, all that stuff, it's all still elevated. That's still all out there in the system. It's still very expensive. So give it time, guys. It will come down. But ultimately, it's going to take patience. And it's going to take people who pretty much are willing to bite the bullet and buy the expensive lumber because it's going to take, you know, it's going to take some time and it's going to take, um, uh, yeah, and it's going to take a turning over of that inventory. That's ultimately what it's going to come down to. The faster that happens, the quicker the cheaper prices will come in. All right. Um, let's see what else. Oh, uh, I want to leave a link. You know what? I'll do that in another video. Never mind, guys. I'll put out another video later on today. Uneducated Economist, you guys let me know.